I've had automations around my TV for some time now, but I wanted to take it up a notch. When I started researching automations around the TV, a lot of them were complicated and not that reliable. The ones I'm going to show you in this video are pretty cool, easy to implement, and they don't cost that much. Like pausing the TV when the doorbell is pressed. If you want to see which devices I'm using in this video, it will be all linked down in the description, and most of them are pretty inexpensive. When I go to the movies, I really like seeing previews, and I forget to watch them at home sometimes. I have an automation get triggered when I say, movie preview. It will turn on the TV, slightly dim the lights, switch it to the Apple TV, and have it automatically start playing the first top trailer. That way I can get some popcorn or snacks while everything turns on. Then when I sit down, I have some time to get comfortable before watching something. If I want to skip the previews, the lights will automatically dim by just turning on the TV with any remote, which you might have seen in a previous video. It's just a smart outlet measuring the energy usage to know when the TV is on. When I'm ready to start the show, I can say it's movie time and all the lights will turn off, except for the light strips behind the TV and the ones I recently added under the couch. That way I don't trip on anything and I think it looks pretty awesome. The TV input will also change to the fire stick since that's worked the best for us to play 4K content. Then it will automatically select Netflix since it's our go-to streaming service. I know I could just use a remote to do this, but why not make my life easier and make a machine do it? The way I'm changing my TV is by using the Harmony Hub and starting a Harmony activity. These activities have the ability to turn on the TV, select the input, move the cursor, and select OK. Since you can choose where the apps are positioned on the screen for the Apple TV or the Fire TV, you can know where to select them automatically with that little Harmony Activity Automation script. Also, stay tuned to the end of this video where I'll share some pros and cons of the Harmony Hub. When I'm watching a show and someone needs to take a bathroom break, then I can run some automations. <laughs> no, these are not automations that you run on the toilet. That's another video. I can say pause show and the TV will pause whatever is playing and the lights will automatically turn on. That way you can see much better while walking to the bathroom. When they are done and get back to the couch, I can say play show. The lights will go back to being dark and it will start to play again. The way I'm doing this is with a Google Assistant routine, which calls a smart thing scene for the lights and then runs a custom command to pause or play the TV using the Harmony Hub. I like using the Google Assistant routines for times like this because I can have multiple phrases that can trigger the same action. That way I'm less likely to get the command wrong. When you're watching something at night and someone rings the doorbell, it's nice to have the show automatically pause. I have my ring doorbell connected to SmartThings, which will call the Harmony Hub to pause the TV. Like I mentioned earlier, I have the TV plugged into a smart outlet so I know to only run this automation if the TV is on. This is different because you can't just pause the TV with smart things like you can with Google Assistant. I had to use a Harmony activity for this. It's pretty simple, but there is one really important thing that you need to know. Make sure to include all the devices in your pause activity that you have in the activity to start the show. The Harmony Hub won't turn off any devices that are shared between activities. I wanted to take it a step further and have the video feed of the doorbell automatically show up on the TV when someone rings the doorbell. Surprisingly, this isn't easy to do. You'd think that with a Ring doorbell, a Fire Stick TV, and an Alexa routine, it would be easy to set up since they're all made by the same company. But you can't. But I was really determined I wanted to get this to work, so I did find a way, but it's not ideal. Since I already had my Amazon Echo devices announced when someone had pressed the doorbell, someone is at the front door. I just modified that phrase to say, hey, Google at the beginning. Then I created a routine in Google Assistant to show the front door Arlo camera on the TV from that phrase. Hey Google, someone is at the front door. I know it's kind of ridiculous and getting Arlo to show up quickly is hit or miss. If you have a Fire TV, you can use the remote to bring up the video feed of the Ring doorbell using a voice command. This actually works much faster and it's really convenient. I just wish Amazon would let me automate it. When I'm done watching TV, I just say show finished and that will turn the lights back on, turn off the light strips, and turn off the TV by turning off all the Harmony activities. If you're thinking about getting a Harmony Hub, there are a couple pros and cons that you should know of. First, I'll start off with the cons. The Harmony app is a little slow and clunky, so it takes a while to get everything set up. 
You might have seen negative reviews because Harmony removed their API, which allowed people using things like Home Assistant to connect directly to it. After a bunch of backlash, they reversed it, and now you can download a beta firmware update to get that back. But you need to use the Harmony application on the computer. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't work on macOS Catalina now, and I had just upgraded to Catalina the day before reading this. Ugh. I have no regrets upgrading though, because having my iPad as a third monitor in Catalina is awesome. The pros are, once it's set up, it's really convenient to control your TV. It connects to a lot of entertainment devices, Plus, it integrates with SmartThings, Alexa, and Google Assistant. I personally think that the Harmony Hub fills a gap and it's still worth it, especially since you can get it on Amazon right now for a little over $40 refurbished. But what do you guys think? Is the Harmony Hub worth it for automations around your TV? Or are you guys using something else? Hopefully this video gave you some ideas for automating around your TV. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time. Hey girl, you want a treat?